Hello everyone, this question is about complex numbers. The polynomial x cubed plus 5x squared plus 31x plus 75 is denoted by p of x. Show that x plus 3 is a factor of p of x. So, to show that x plus 3 is a factor, we gotta plug in minus 3. So, this is the factor theorem. We plug in minus 3 to this polynomial, replace this x with minus 3, minus 3, minus 3. Use a calculator, you get 0. Therefore, it is shown, it is proven. Since when you plug in minus 3, you get 0. Minus 3 is a root. x plus 3 is a factor. So that's 2 marks now. Part B, 3 marks. Show that minus 1 plus 2 root 6i is a root of p of z equals 0. So although it's using p of z, well, it's the same as p of x, but instead of x, we use z. So you can use x or z here, that doesn't really matter. So this is the original p of x. We know that x plus 3 is a factor which means you can do the polynomial long division or the algebraic long division you're gonna do this divided by this and this is the quotient with zero remainder of course or if you don't want to do long division just use maybe logic so you're gonna multiply x by something to get x cubed of course this must be x squared now you, you have to multiply 3 by something to get 75. So of course this must be 25. Now the harder part is finding the 2x here. So you know that when you do, now we analyze the x term here. When you do 3 times x squared, you're gonna get 3x squared. But if you look at the left hand side, this is 5x squared. So somehow when we multiply x by something, we gotta get 2x squared because again the total is supposed to be 5x squared so that's why we have to use 2x and if you want to check the x term 3 times 2x is 6x and 25 times x is 25x the total is 31x which is the same as the left hand side so we have the right quadratic quotient here now because we are solving this quadratic, we can use the quadratic formula. Minus b plus minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And you're going to get minus 2 plus minus, this is 4 minus 100, so minus 96. Which is the same as minus 16 times 6, so 4 root 6. There is an i because of minus square root of minus 1 is i and after you divide by 2 you get minus 1 plus minus 2 root 6 i so it is proven that minus 1 plus 2 root 6 i is a root the next part seven marks so almost 10 percent of the whole paper hence find the complex number z which are roots of p of z squared equals zero so first of all from the previous part we know that the roots of p of z equals zero are minus three and minus one plus minus two root six i so if this is now z squared instead of c what we get is now z squared equals minus three so to find the z you just take the square root of both sides you're gonna have plus minus because of the square root and the square root of minus 3 is well square root of 3 is still square root of 3 square root of minus 1 is i so we have two solutions here plus minus root 3 i now from the positive z equals minus 1 plus 2 root 6 i so the z is again we gotta do the plus minus so we take the square root so when we take the square root 
we don't know so we have to um, label or we say that z is a plus bi this is the method so we don't know the z we just gonna call it a plus bi and then we square both sides we get a squared plus 2 a bi plus b squared i squared and on the right yeah, basically we get back to this so this means remember this is actually i squared is minus 1 so we have a squared minus b squared actually so a squared minus b squared is minus 1 because that is the one without i and now for the one with i 2ab must be equal to 2 root 6 okay so the real part and the imaginary part we have two equations and now from here we can rearrange to substitute a or b if you want to substitute a we get cancel out the 2 root 6 divided by b you plug in here a squared is root 6 times root 6 is 6 b times b is b squared this is a quadratic in terms of b squared so multiply both sides by b squared so you get 6 this is b to the fourth and this is minus b squared so if you just move everything to the right hand side this is positive b to the fourth or b squared squared b to the fourth we still have minus b squared and if you move this to the right you get minus 6 so this is a quadratic obviously and this is factorizable this is minus 3 plus 2 so b squared minus 3 b squared plus 2 b squared can be 3 or b squared equals minus 2 this is rejected because we want the b to be a real not imaginary or complex number so from here we have the possible values of b which is plus minus root 3 after we find the b we can find the a using this so we do root 6 divided by plus minus root 3 which means we have plus minus root 2 so um, a can be root 6 divided by root 3 actually that is root 2 root 2 okay so in conclusion we have so remember it's a plus bi the a is plus minus root 2 the b is well plus minus root 3 so the answers are when the a is positive the b is also positive so 2 plus root 2 plus root 3i minus 2 minus root 3i and now this is for the negative so from here the negative 1 minus 1 minus 2 root 6i same concept exactly the same so now the x squared minus y squared so previously we use a and b now we use x and y minus 1 for the real part and for the imaginary part minus 2 root 6 so we have a minus now so we do exactly the same thing really similar we get the same value for the y but for the x there's a minus so when the x is positive the y is negative when the y is negative the y x is positive and there's a square root actually so we have another two solutions so in conclusion here we have a total of one two three four five six solutions all right uh,